So this has just arrived, this is the next dark touch. And it's important to mention that they did give me some money off in exchange for this review. The next dog is a really interesting product. It aims to replace a lot of things and it aims to open up the possibilities of mobile computing with these new breed of Samsung and other Android phones. It's also a portable monitor. This replaces a power bank, a USB hub, a keyboard and a mouse, and a card reader, and an extra screen. So if you think about that, so if you added all those things up, how much would that be worth? You need to think about that when you look at the price of this thing. These are just some various AC adapters, so I'll need the British one. Some various cables and adapters, looking for connectivity, looking for being able to use this in different ways, which is a really nice thing about the product. Really quite nicely looked after. Just clearly quite a nicely made thing. It's not light, I will point that out about it. Not a bad feeling keyboard. Feels pretty solid. That's okay. Kind of just masking taped on at the side there, not a sticky thing. That's the touchscreen, it has some really tiny bezels. That does look like a webcam, it's not a webcam. As I said, this is still a Kickstarter, so there are some issues with you know, what they can produce for what price. And because this is an American keyboard layout, and well, that's just like an Apple keyboard layout, so actually I'm not too worried about that. I can manage with an American keyboard layout, but they do ship an international keyboard cover with it which can go over the top I probably just won't use this but certainly what you could do and it does fit quite nicely actually you could get away with that if you were really desperately wanting to use a British keyboard layout that does actually feel all right um, you could just obviously cut out some keys the few keys that are actually different it's just where the at sign is and the double apostrophe really the speech marks so it's not a major difference the american or british keyboard most of it's pretty similar i probably will just go without it the quick start start guide talks about your various different setups are you going to use it with your smartphone yes i am are you going to use it with a raspberry pi probably not um although i think that is a really interesting use of it for maybe for education Essentially for me, this is going to be an external monitor and it's going to be a docking station for my phone. I wonder if it's got charge on it. So connections, you've got HDMI, you've got Thunderbolt for power and you've got another USB-C and you've also got, uh, this is the one you put your phone in, the one marked phone here. And on the other side, you have a USB-A port, you have a headphone jack and you even have, this is a card reader. That is a micro SD card reader. So when we think about everything this is replacing, there's a large battery inside here. It's also a really fully functioning USB dongle, if you like, for your phone. So there's loads of ways you can get better input output with your phone. It's got the good keyboard, it's got a card reader, so you can have external storage for your phone as well. And as I say, it's a big power bank. And you're gonna use your phone in dex mode. And here you are, straight into dex mode. And with a touch screen, it works really, really well. It looks really, really good as well. Incidentally, the touch screen, it does look really really the business you've also got your phone down here and this I think is a really interesting future for mobile computing so I want to try a couple apps I want to try Adobe Rush because I think that's one of the things that I will mainly use on this thing I'm really keen if this will do keyboard shortcuts doesn't seem that way now if this would do the keyboard shortcuts from that I'm used to using in Premiere that would be amazing but it does also have obviously the touchscreen which is a much nicer interface than just doing Rush on your phone. I'm going to send the feedback to integrate some uh, keyboard shortcuts. Yeah, things like Control C, Control X, they work though, that's good. Oh, Dex even came up with a bunch of keyboard shortcuts straight away to let me know what I could use. 
It's recognised obviously that I've put a keyboard onto it now. So a little while ago you might have thought that laptops were replacing desktops. You might have thought that tablets were replacing laptops. But now with this your phone can replace both of them. And the point is in this phone, modern phones now have huge amounts of RAM, huge processing powers, lots of storage and actually this is a really powerful computer that I carry around in my pocket but the form factor is not what you want for productivity. So perhaps this is a viable set of computing solutions that you've got your phone in your pocket at all times. You carry around something where you have access to something which can dock and give you that desktop-like experience on the go. And then you have your powerful computer at home, which allows you to do your CPU intensive tasks. The other thing this allows you to do, which is really exciting, is continuity. Let's say you're typing yourself an email on your phone and you can plug this in, open the emails, and you can just carry on typing on here. That's a really interesting idea. So you might be doing something on your phone, you might think, oh, that'd be easier on a larger screen with a keyboard. Plug your phone in, away you go. You can even have dual screen that on that side, rush on the other side, and you've got a dual screen experience just like any other computer. That's really clever. Now, as this gets more common, then the desktop experience will get better as well. Another point is it's actually charging my phone right now. So after a six hour session, and that's what the battery life is kind of rated for, after a six hour session, you'd expect your phone to be fully charged. And I can imagine loads of people finding this a really useful option, perhaps having their phone in their bag with a wired USB-C cable and actually being able just to sit on the, on the train, maybe work on their phone. Once they're finished, they can carry on working on the phone whilst they're on the tube standing up perhaps. And then when they get to their office, unplug this, plug everything in, carry on using their main desktop PC, plug this in, charge it. There's loads of different options for that. So there's loads of different possibilities. The possibilities are all there, but how does the expectation match to reality? Well, I'll find out in a little while. I'll try this out for a few days and get back to you. But so far, it's a quality product. It feels quality. Uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying using it so far. I did find it quite funny. I watched the review of the previous one. This is the Next Doc Touch, and I watched the Next Doc 2, and one of the comments was, oh yeah, that's fine, but they need to make it touchscreen. And the response was, well, Come on, this is not even a product which is actually out yet. This is still a Kickstarter and uh, you're already asking for the next upgrade. And then I looked on their website and it turned out, yeah, they were already intending on releasing the upgrade <laughs> to the touch. So thanks very much to them for letting me try this out and giving me a, a good discount on it. But um, I'll get back to you once I've tried this out for a little while and I will get back to you with how I find using this thing. I'm going to take it to school, I'm going to use it as a second screen, I'm going to use it for typing when I'm on my phone. I'm going to enjoy using it, I think. Thanks for watching Gorilla Physics. Let me know your thoughts. Is this a product you'd be interested in? I'll put a link to their webpage and that. I will say just one more thing. Um, although I say I got a really good deal on this, there was a bit of a surprise tax, uh, importing tax that I had to pay because it's come from the States. So I did have to import this into the EU. So I think it's really compelling. I think there's two situations where this will start to be taken off. When actual Android comes with a Chrome OS experience, I think that loads of people will actually buy into this. When all Android phones, and indeed when iOS phones come with a desktop experience built in, then loads of people will start to use this type of thing. What will really make this take off is when your phone can actually transmit wirelessly to this completely. Now Samsung DeX on the latest S20 and Note 20 can work wirelessly, but I don't think it's gonna be able to do everything wirelessly. So it can't communicate the mouse, keyboard, touch, everything and display and send the display signal back wirelessly. But once you can actually just literally leave your phone in your pocket or in your bag and you can open a laptop and it will know, oh yeah, I'm in the vicinity of Kit's phone and I'm just going to become the desktop experience and the phone can broadcast to it and receive signals from it. That's when this will really start taking off and be a really uh, good use case. You might want to plug it in sometimes when you maybe want to charge your phone as you use it. But I think that this will really take off when it's a completely wireless experience. So there you are next doc, you need to work with Samsung, you need to develop some kind of completely wireless situation whereby you can actually leave this in your bag, not even have to touch your phone and have this out as your desktop experience at any time you want it.